Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Taxi. I'm back with another video. Today's going to be a real quick one. Um, I basically want to go through what I do when it comes to using loops, especially melody loops. I know there's a community of uh, beat makers that likes to use Splice, Cymatics, other uh, loop pack companies and sometimes other people don't play by the rules and we stand a chance of getting getting flagged because someone went outside the terms of the agreement and registered these loops and you know in the end you know the community pays for it so I'm going to show you what I do the best practices for whenever you're using loops is to try to make them sound like your own um, whether it be, you know, just chopping it up, reversing it, pitching it up, down, um, whatever you can do, just try not to make it sound like you just pulled it straight off a of splice. Okay. So we're in Cubase. I'm going to, uh, I basically took two, two loops and, uh, bounced them together. I'm going to go ahead and play them for you real quick. other loop I put them together sounds like this and so forth uh, these loops are actually from Steinberg I can't remember if it if this was part of the stock library or if, if it was part of absolute six but they do come from um the pop guitars library or soul library i can't remember but it's, it's all steinberg i told y'all in the last video cubase got the best loops stock drums samples this is not up for debate this is my opinion all right anywho <clears throat> So basically what I did, I took two loops and just, first of all, I pitched them in the same, put them in the same key with one another just to kind of make it, you, you know, make it a little bit easier for what I want to do next or for what I did next. Excuse me. Um, so I took those loops, I sent them over to the uh, sampler in Cubase and I actually uh, sliced up the loop. And I slice it up according to the grid and the grid setting I used was uh, one bar. This is what I end up coming up with. And so um, now there's one or two ways you can actually play it manually or uh, there is a random feature that you can use in a uh, Cubase, but I'll save that for another video. But this is what I came up with. Okay, so after I did that, then this is where it gets interesting. I inserted Beam by Lunacy Audio. Let's open this. And I used a preset called Donkey Got a Chip. So let's listen back to that with the effect. And then what I did next, just to kind of, I guess, uh, make sure it was tuned into one specific key, because you can kind of tell it kind of gets off key a little bit. I used Chroma. Um, I forgot who's the company. Um, if you know what the name of the company is, drop it in the comments. I just know I saw the plugin and I had to get it. And so this is with uh, Chroma on. Yeah, so it kind of uh, gets it in key. And then what I did next, I went ahead and bounced it down and I s 
I actually transposed it down five semitones and this is what I got. And then uh, what I did, I, I went ahead and sped the track up. I, I sped the sample up to uh, right now we're at 120 and I sped it up to uh, 150. And then I just put a beat behind it. So let's listen back to it with some drums. Let's throw some bass in there. Uh, I used a bass patch from Reason 13 rack plugin called Bob Tube, or is that 808 Tube? I'm not sure, but it sounds dope. Now, this is also my opinion. I think Reason has the best synths, best stock synths. Again, not up for debate. And then I added some keys on top of it. There you have it. There's a couple of things I can do with the sample, um, but I'm just gonna leave it at that for today. But the key take from this video is if you're gonna use loops, if you're gonna use particularly melodic loops, try your best to flip it, reverse it, chop it up, rearrange it, anything. No, don't let it sound like the you just pulled it straight off of the uh, website or the loop library well all right that's all i have um if you enjoyed this video hit the like and the subscribe button and i'm going to continue to try and put out at least one video a week um, but until next time peace out